Out of the investigation of the death of a woman's pet, allegedly the hands of an FBI agent. The dog was fatally shot in Center City last night following some type of altercation with the agent's dog. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson joining us live at FBI headquarters with more on the incident and reaction today. Becca? Brian and Shari, sources tell Action News that the agent who fired that weapon is the special agent in charge of the Philadelphia field office. Meanwhile, the dog's owner is devastated today. Viewer video captures the moments after police sources say an FBI agent shot and killed a dog in Center City. Sources identified the agent to Action News as special agent in charge Jacqueline McGuire. I just heard through my AirPods, a bunch of high pitched noises and then what sounded like a gunshot. Police say it happened around 8 p.m. Monday in front of the Terrain Apartments near 16th and Spruce Streets. Investigators say McGuire had been walking her own dog when two other leash dogs walked by and one attacked. What I know is she had a smaller dog and a larger dog attacked that dog. When she tried to get her dog back, I think the dog attacked her and then she discharged the weapon. Family says the dog who was shot is a seven year old pit bull named Mia, who died in her owner's arms in a police van on the way to an emergency clinic. People just assume that pit bulls are aggressive, but in reality, they are very, very loving. Just give them a chance and obviously don't shoot them dead. Tuesday, this animal rights group protested outside of FBI headquarters with signs demanding justice for Mia. I honestly broke my heart because I have a pit bull and my dog is the most loving. My dog is the most loving dog there is. The FBI said in a statement that it takes all shooting incidents involving its agents very seriously. It is investigating alongside the police officer involved shooting unit from Philadelphia police. Live outside of FBI headquarters, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Brian and Chari.